Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to organize our Google Drives so that you can find documents and other things faster. And I am looking at a uh, sample uh, Google Drive uh, for a pretend student named Sally Sample. And Sally was a third grade student last year, and she has a couple of documents in her Google Drive from her last class. Now, she probably still wants to look at these or uh, go back to them at some point, uh, but we don't need to use them right now, so we want to kind of get them out of the way. So what we need to do is we need to create a new folder. As you can see up here in the upper left-hand corner, there is a uh, plus sign, multicolored plus sign, and it says new. If I click on that button, it gives me a whole bunch of different choices. And the top one is for a new folder. So I'm going to select new folder. Now, I need to give this folder a title so I know what's in it. So I'm going to title this third grade work. As soon as I hit create, that folder is going to appear in my Google Drive. Now, there are a couple of items in my Google Drive. There's a slideshow called All Kinds of Dogs, and there is an essay called My Holiday World Vacation. So if I take my mouse and I just kind of press on that, it allows me to move that file. And when I hover over the folder, it puts the file into the folder. I'm going to do that again with this essay. Okay, so I'm going to drop it in. And now those items are hidden away in this folder. Okay, now you can still see uh, in the quick access that these items exist. But when Sally starts to generate fourth grade uh, content, these uh, items up here, the quick access, are going to be pushed back. So the more recent you do something in your Google Drive, the more likely you're going to see it up here. So Sally Sample is a fourth grader now, so she needs a folder for her fourth grader work. So once again, I'm going to create a new folder. But this time, I'm going to title it, yep, you guessed it, fourth grade work. So now... When Sally wants to uh, do something for her fourth grade class, she can put those items in this fourth grade folder. Now, if you've been a student at Orchard Park for a while and you have items from, say, second grade or first grade, uh, you can create separate folders for those items, too. But what I'd like for you to do is to make sure that all of your documents, slideshows, or anything else that you have saved in your Google Drive live in a folder. OK, if you have questions, feel free to reach out and uh, email me or talk to me in class. Otherwise, we will uh, speak again soon. Thanks.